Say, for instance, if I get called... State Representative Brad Clippert, a Republican from Kennewick, tried running for Congress this year, but didn't make it out of the August primary. Last month, the Republican Party backed his write-in campaign for Secretary of State. Clippert questioned the validity of the 2020 elections and called for an end to mail-in ballots in Washington. The two Secretary of State candidates in the general election, Democrat Steve Hobbs. People need to look at the person. And nonpartisan candidate Julie Anderson. I'm super proud. Finished within three percentage points of each other on election night. But three percentage points also went to write-in candidates. Nearly 52,000 votes. By comparison, in the U.S. Senate race, there's about 3,200 write-in votes. So something's going on here. And in a close race, this does matter. Austin Jenkins is a reporter for Pluribus News and hosts Inside Olympia on TVW. He called the write-in results for Clippert and others off the charts. Whatever you do, do not write in Brad Clippert. Last week, Governor Jay Inslee and State Democratic Party Chair Tina Podlodowski pleaded with voters to vote for the Democrat, Hobbs. We must do everything we can to defeat Republican Brad Clippert and his wacky conspiracy theories, and they are wacky. Did that maybe help your campaign to almost have an anti-endorsement from, from the governor? Oh, absolutely, positively, yes. If I were here with him today, I would, I'd say thank you for, for, for you doing that, for saying my name over and over and over again uh, to the people of Washington State. Clippert says he did not do as well as he hoped, and he says he doesn't care if his presence changes the outcome. I ran to win. I ran because I think we need to have a more secure election process in Washington state with a whole lot more transparency. None of the candidates have conceded in this race, by the way. They say there's still too many votes out there to count. Whoever wins, this will be the first non-Republican elected to the Secretary of State's office here since the 1960s. And we're only having this special election because the last Republican who was elected, Kim Wyman, she left her job early to take a job with the Joe Biden administration. And this office will be up for grabs again in two years. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.